Are you getting the error message page not available? Your administrator has limited access to some areas of this app and the item you tried to access is not available. Contact IT Help Desk for more information. When you try to go to the settings app or look at some details in the Windows settings menu. If you are, this video will tell you how to fix it. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, make sure that Windows is updated. It is recommended that you update your Windows operating system. There are occasionally hiccups. The easiest way to deal with them is to keep your computer updated. Click Start button. Type Updates. Click Check for Updates. Then, click Windows Update. Then, click Check for Updates. Click Update if it's available. Next, try using an administrator account. If the account you are using is not an administrator account, you may see this error. For instance, if you are using someone else's computer, you might only be able to use a guest account instead of an administrator account. This problem could be caused by the fact that the regular account you are using does not have the right to do what you are trying to do right now. Click on the Start button. Click on Settings. Click on Accounts. Select Family and Other Users. Click on the Add Account beside Add Other User. Select I don't have this person sign in information. Then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Click next after entering the new account's preferred username. You may also create a password for the new account if you want to keep it secure. After you've created the account, you can upgrade the set account to administrator. Just select the new account and choose change account type. Change the account type to administrator and click OK. Sign in using the new administrator account to check if your administrator has limited access error returns. Next, Iceable third-party antivirus. This problem might happen if you have any third-party security software installed on your Windows PC. Try to see and installing your non-Windows security software will help fix the error. Next, turn off Windows Defender. You can temporarily turn off Windows Defender to see if that will help in this case. Here's what you need to do. Press the Windows key plus I buttons. Go to Update and Security on the left. Click Windows Security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Click on Manage Settings below Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Toggle the switch for real-time protection to off. Next, Check for incorrect group policy settings. This error may be caused by a problem with your group policy settings. One way to fix it is to change the group policy settings. Open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows key plus R button. Type in gpedit.msc and press Enter. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection Double-click on Hide the Virus and Threat Protection area and click on Not Configured. Click Apply then OK. Next, use the Hidden Administrator account. Windows has a Hidden Administrator account that you can use to fix problems. You probably don't know about it. This is a simple job that you can do. Here's how. Press the Windows key and search for CMD. Right-click on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Once the Command Prompt opens, type in NetUserAdministrator slash active colon yes and press Enter. After that, you should turn on the Hidden Administrator account. After you log out of your user account, you can switch to the Administrator account. Check to see if the problem still happens after you switch. If the problem is still there, you can try to fix it using the Administrator account. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.